Vincent, many congratulations into the quarterfinals of the Betfred World well match play and a comprehensive victory over Daryl Gurney. You must be over the moon right now. Oh, definitely. I mean, it, it was a good win. Um, uh, I was practicing so well, but you never know what goes on on stage in the first four or five legs. I think I played amazing. Uh, and then that, yeah, that, that show what I can do if I'm healthy and when I'm before. When you're that far in front in a match, is there a different kind of pressure on you? Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm not used to being 5-0 up, 8-2 up, so uh, it, it, was, it was awkward for me to uh, finish the game off because fuck, you can't lose from this. <laughs> and then he wins legs and you're thinking, oh my God, no way. You have to win this one. And, and so I was really happy to do it at the last couple. Heading into the game, we spoke to Barrow and he said he was surprised that you beat Tizzy. Do you think he maybe overlooked you a little bit? I really don't care. I mean, uh, so many people overlooked me in the past and they uh, felt sorry for themselves afterwards and he's probably one of the one of those now. Obviously, Michael crashed out last night, a huge shock. In the practice room, when Michael's gone, is there a different feel to the tournament? He plays in a different day, so it's not, not much going on really. He used to be. It used to be when Phil lost, loses, then everybody was, oh, and they were whispering. And, and, and Mike, like yesterday with Mike, that, happen, that happens. But the next day, everybody's here for themselves and don't care about what, what anybody else does. The match play here, it seems to have reinvigorated you. Can you go all the way in this tournament now? The seeds are falling all over the place. I can't see why not, but, but I have to play well. I have to be prepare myself the same way, I have to play well, confident and everything and and um, I mean it helps that it's not that as hot as in Blackpool but I'm not going to get into Blackpool anymore because <laughs> apparently a lot of people were upset when I said something about it but there you go, no problem for me about it. I, I, I do that frequently in interviews that I upset people but here you go. Um, this is better for me, it suits me better than than a steaming hot room, that, that's for sure. So, um, I mean, I'm sweating now, but not as <laughs> much as I'm doing when I'm playing the match play. So, yeah, Does the one game a day suit your format better as well? Yeah, 100%. I mean, uh, I know I struggle with health and everything, so, so one game at a time, it's, it's easier for me than playing one game two hours in between and playing another ma or half an hour in between. So this suits me far better, but yeah. I don't think I can convince one. Barry to play one day at one match <laughs> at a time. The dart at tops you missed for the 1-3-2, we saw you almost smile on the stage. Roll back 18 months when you almost packed the game in. It's remarkable, isn't it, because you were in that much pain and now you're actually enjoying it on that stage again. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy darts because I've been playing darts since I was eight, nine years old. One, so two, I've always been involved in darts and, and it's a great game. and I. I really love playing, but when you're in a lot of pain, then then yeah, the, 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 the fun goes away, and, you, and your mindset goes away, and, and if you play against people that you lose to, where you normally think, I should win this one, then then yeah, then it goes against you, but yeah, I enjoy this, and hopefully we can go on. Congratulations, well done. Thank you very much. Bye.